Breaking news tonight at 7. Germany secedes from Europe and becomes its own continent. We have the reaction from some random guy we ambushed on the street. Plus, the reason that so many celebrities get plastic surgery. It turns out, it's our fault, and I'll tell you why. And tonight, the 7 o'clock news welcomes a new member into its already horrifyingly dysfunctional family. All that, and probably nothing else, it's all coming up. I'm Shades McGraw. And I'm Andy Selman, and you're watching the 7 o'clock news. Our top story tonight. Early this afternoon, Germany announced that it is seceding from Europe to become its own continent. This, of course, is shocking news because this is the first time in history that something like this has happened, as far as we know. Jeff Brooklarkin was out in the field when the news broke, and he asked the first person he saw what their reaction to the shocking news was. Hi, I am Jeff Brooklarkin, and I'm reporting from the back alley of a shady neighborhood. Well, I have just gotten word from my producer that Germany has seceded from Europe. I am going to look around for some reaction. Hey, you in the hood! Oh, crap. That guy just shot somebody. He's walking off. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, man! Jeff McClarkin! Haven't seen you in years! What brings you back to your old stopping grounds, man? Oh, hello there, random person that I'm meeting for this for the first time today, and I've never met before. Have you heard the news about Germany? Maybe, man, but who cares, right? I mean, like, Germany? Like, it's not even around us, so, like... It, it'd be a major bummer if it was, but, like, how you been, man? Fine, I suppose. You are very friendly for a person that I just met today and have not met, met in a past life or on Xbox Live or the Internet or Facebook or anything. You okay, man? Yeah, I, I am totally fine. Hey, um, let's put it hypothetically. If Germany were seceding from the Europe and it would have an impact on the United States, how would that make you feel? That would suck, man. Well, there you have it, folks. If Germany were to secede from Europe in some weird, hypothetical, parallel universe that's happening right now on the news, then it would suck. I'm Jeff McClarkin, reporting from the, from the most wholesome place on Earth. Back to you, Shades. No way! Jeff's in Disney World? I love that place! Why do I never get to go there? He probably won the trip in a raffle. I never win the stupid raffle. Are you done? I suppose. Good. Wait, where are you still on me? Andy has the story. Oh, and it seems unfair that the celebrities are blaming us, the regular peasants of Earth, for their excessive plastic surgery. And I know your first reaction may be to get upset at this news and go and kick your neighbor's dog, but here, listen to their rationale. They say it's because we today have too many HDTVs. The clear picture, it just shows every little physical flaw that they might have. So they have to cover it up with plastic surgery. And you know, the logic's airtight, but you know what? Here's what I think. I think celebrities are shallow, soulless, insecure people that just have to look their best because they can't stand to see an ugly person or look in the mirror at themselves because they have no souls. Celebrities disgust me, honestly. This just in. Because of Andy's rant about celebrities being shallow, soulless people, our celebrity host for our upcoming telethon is called and canceled on us. What? Matt Damon isn't going to host our telethon anymore? Man... This sucks. Don't feel bad, Andy. Instead of blaming yourself like you should, blame the regular peasants of Earth. Who cares if they don't like you, right? You're right, Shades. And you are a moron. Well, before we sign off tonight, we would like to introduce the newest member of the 7 o'clock news family. Ladies and gentlemen, Joplin St. James. Wait, aren't you the same guy from the story earlier? Probably, man. I feel so lucky to even be on this show. You know, like, I never even liked watching the news because it was such a bummer, man. But, like, now I'm on the news, so I don't even need to watch it anymore. Right. So, Joplin, that's a pretty unusual first name. Would you mind explaining the story behind it? Wow, man, that's so cool. How'd you know that there was a story behind how I got my name? My ungodly intuition. Right on, man. So, yeah, when my mom was, like, a crazy, like, huge Janis Joplin fan... And when she was, like, pregnant with me, she was, like, major convinced that I was going to be a girl, man. So, like, and she was going to name me Janice for obvious reasons. But, like, I didn't like the name Janice, so I became a boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let me stop you right there. I need you to clear something up for me right now. Were you at any point, and I mean any point, a girl? Not as far as I can remember, man. 
I mean, maybe before I can remember, but you have to ask my mom about that. You know, I might just do that. I have a lot of questions for her. So yeah, man, like I was saying, like my mom, when she was pregnant with me and she was like super convinced I was a girl, and was gonna name me Janice, and then I like turned into a boy so that I wouldn't be called Janice, like, she was like, oh no, you're a boy, I can't call you Janice. So she called me Joplin instead. So yeah, that's, that's how I got my name. Pretty cool, huh? Fascinating. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. For the 7 o'clock news, I'm Shades McGraw. What? Say your name. Oh, Joplin St. James, man. And I'm suddenly looking a whole lot better, aren't I? Thank you for watching. See you tonight. And it seems unfair that the celebrities are blaming us. The pe- the right. Right. Yeah, I'm totally fine. Okay, let me put it this way. Hypothetically. <laughs> you, you, you just said the line. <laughs> Breaking news tonight says Germany secedes from Europe and because. Probably, man. Probably, man. Probably, man. Mamma mia! It's a me! Spaghetti! -o. <laughs> you still love spaghetti, and he talks like Mario. It's a me, spaghetti! -o. Oh, you want spaghetti? No, I don't give spaghetti. Spaghetti bandit? Or yes.